As I mentioned before, there are 29 surahs in Quran that are initial with these Quranic initials. And the first initial in the Quran is in surah number 2, the first verse. Alif, Lam, Mim. The last initial is the initial noon in surah number 68, which is right here. This initial here is the last initial. This here is the first initial, and this is the last initial. The number of ayat or verses in this section here, from the first initial to the last initial, is 5,263 ayat or verses. 19 times 277. You just start at Alif Lam Mim, the first Quranic initial, and you count all the verses in here up to this verse in Surah 68. And you'll find that the total is 5,263, or 19 times 277. Also, if you count the word Allah in this section between the first initial and the last initial, you'll find that the total of the word Allah here is 2,641, which is a multiple of 19. 19 times 139, 139. And of course, if you count the word Allah outside of this section, that will be here and before Alif Lam Mim. The word Allah is 57 times, is found 57 times, or 19 times 3. In the section from the first initial Alif Lam Mim to the last initial Noon, there are exactly 38 surahs without initials. The uninitial surahs here are 38 which is a multiple of 19, 19 times 2. So this is another physical fact. Now, I mentioned that outside of this section, there are 57 words Allah that's outside the initial section of the Quran, in this part and this part to the end. There are 57 words, Allah. If you add the numbers of the surahs, the numbers assigned to the surahs, like this number here, and the numbers assigned to the verses, the total is 2,432, or 19 times 128. Now I'm talking about the numbers assigned to the surahs and verses, where you find the word Allah outside of the initial section. You add these numbers assigned to the surahs and to the verses wherever you find the word Allah and the total is a multiple of 19. Well this proves that the numbers assigned to the surahs and the numbers assigned to the verses are from God, not from humans. <laughs> The word 
Al-Qur'an is mentioned in the Qur'an 57 times. That is 19 times 3. Isn't that profound? And if you add the numbers of the surahs and the numbers of verses where the word the Qur'an is found, the total is 2,660, which is 19 times 140. I'm talking about the numbers, for example, this word here, Al-Qur'an, is in Surah 17. See, the Surah number is 17. And the verse number is 45, as you see here. You take these numbers, the 57 times where the word Qur'an is found in the Qur'an, and you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of the surahs all together, the total is 2,660 or 19 times 140. There are other grammatical forms of this word, Al-Qur'an, like Qur'anan and Qur'anahu, and if you add all the surahs and all the verses, the numbers of the verses and the numbers of the surahs, where these forms, different forms of the word Qur'an is found, the grand total is 3,363 or 19 times 177. Of course, the word Qur'an is very special and this is why it is so intricately composed within the Qur'an. <laughs> pillar of Islam, mainly that God is one, is mentioned in the Quran exactly 19 times, that Allah Wahid, God is one, is mentioned in the Quran exactly 19 times. Now there is also the word Wahdahu, worship God alone. This commandment to worship God alone, Wahdahu, is mentioned in the Quran five times and if you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of surahs where the word Wahdahu, worship God alone, occurs, the total is 361 or 19 times 19. So this emphasizes the importance of worshiping God alone. The word Wahid, referring to God as one, is mentioned in the Quran 19 times and the word Wahdahu is mentioned five times, but when you add the verses and surahs, numbers, where this word Wahdahu is found, the total is 361, 19 times 19. Let's keep it there. For example, this word Wahdahu happens in verse 12, of Surah number 40. So you take this number 40 and the number of the verse 12 and you do this with every time you see the word Wahdahu in the Quran and the total is 361, 19 times 19. <laughs> 